Hi, I'm Lance Bell, and this year we're fortunate enough to run the, the new Hawkeye System 2 on our uh, new Rogator sprayer that we had just purchased. We had an interest in the Hawkeye system from the get-go, but weren't quite sure of the merits of it, and uh, after running it for a season, we are 100% convinced that it was the way to go. Uh, all of our fields are um, irregular shaped and um, lots of point rows uh, combined with um, lots of uneven ground and uh, combined with decent running. So our speed changes in this part of the world are huge as well as we've got a lot of waterways and point rows for shutoffs. So um, all of our field boundaries are mapped uh, with RTK uh, ahead of time and we loaded all those into the Viper and doing that allowed us we sprayed across every waterway um, the individual nozzle section control worked great um, our usage of chemical was down as well as productivity was uh, increased a lot um, anybody that sprayed around waterways before being able to finish a field knows uh, how much extra time that takes and just being able to spray and we did slow down maybe just a little for them and but we were still crossing waterways at 10 to 11 mile an hour and um, placement of where we needed it turned on and off was good and probably that worked as well as anything we'd ever tried uh, this being able to run the different speed ranges uh, with the Hawkeye and broaden that window out um, most of the time we're able our speed ranges were in that area from five mile an hour to about 16 mile an hour and uh, that helped with productivity from the standpoint of always before we had to set our tip size to maybe we were maxing out in that and still and running pressure higher than what we needed to to even get to 14 mile an hour just because we had to size our tips so much for um, the rough areas and being able to go slower on part of the field and keep our spray pattern. So um, having that broader window and the system allowing you to set a put a set pressure in and maintain that um, it let us that way we were able to set up for how the wind was blowing that day and get our droplet size where we wanted it and stay consistent. Um, going forward, yes, I, I don't think that we would want to take any of these systems away and it's made the job of spraying here a lot a lot easier. Um, we're more, product, more productive and just, just at the end of the day you aren't as tired as you are running a manual control sprayer and the fact of using the individual Hawkeye uh, nozzle control to work with our predetermined boundaries as well as shutoffs has been a big help uh, as far as our operation goes.